Hello everyone, I'm back again and I just thought that I would do a really quick video so this one is definitely a quick one because I already did one yesterday um, but I thought I would do one because I've just seen my midwife today and I thought maybe those of you who are following me on this channel um, might want to know what's going on or even if you don't I still am going to do a video. <laughs> um, so just to start by saying by apologizing for my lovely, lovely face, kind of roughed up because I just woke up from a nap, uh, which wasn't very smooth, <laughs> let's say, and restful. Um, I've had a horrible night last night. Um, basically, my my app on my phone, it says that I've slept about seven hours and whatever and a half with one hour and 30 minutes of deep sleep. But this morning when I woke up at 6 a.m., I really could not feel it and I felt like oh god I just felt like so tired and then I fell asleep again around I don't know 8 a.m and I woke up uh at 9 no no not 8 a.m sorry I woke up um I fell asleep again around uh, 7 a.m and I woke up at 8 or something 8 30 as I had my midwife appointment at 9 55 um but when I woke up from the second kind of you know, sleep, a <laughs> short sleep, I was feeling like, oh my God, the way I feel right now, <laughs> like somebody's just been walking all over me and I feel exhausted, honestly. It was a struggle today. I felt like, you know, I felt like crying this morning because I was feeling so tired and yeah. Um, but anyways, I don't want to sound like negative. It's just that today it is a little bit challenging and I must admit, but, I mean, who wouldn't be challenged when you are, like, heavily pregnant, 40 weeks plus one today, and it's just not that easy anymore. Um, you know, especially with the sleep challenging me every single day, really. Um, anyway, just to kind of uh, give you an update, I've seen my... my uh, midwife natalie today and she was just lovely i love my midwife she's just lovely um she was quite shocked to see me there <laughs> and she goes like oh isabella i'm like yay it's me hello <laughs> and she said well i wasn't expecting to see you in the nicest possible way and i'm like well i wasn't either but here i am and so um you know she goes like how are you feeling today and everything and i said you know i was like she's just so lovely that i cannot be like sad around her or something and angry and she goes like Oh, but you're still smiling and I'm like yeah it's very challenging but I you know what can I do um and then we discussed like I told her what I've been doing these days and how I felt and uh how it's starting to become a little bit more challenging because I feel so uncomfortable in my body and I cannot sleep and it's mostly because I cannot sleep and all these are making me like exhausted and the longer it gets the more like anxious i get i'm also anxious about like um you know baby moving or is he moving is he breathing why is he uh, hiccuping why is he doing all these jerky movements why you know i think everything it just kind of expands in your head and um you know as things move forward so slow she was very understanding when I spoke to her and everything, you know, with my urine and everything, it's all fine. She said, it's no problem. Um, all is good. My, my, uh, uh, blood pressure is good. I mean, my whole pregnancy has just been good, really. <laughs> so I haven't had any sort of problems. Um, then she, you know, we discussed, uh a sweep a stretch and sweep and stretch um so she spoke to me while she was taking my uh blood pressure she said that um you know the next step is basically we will book you for an induction but before the you know we'll book you for an induction next week um uh, but before we we do that um there are there is a procedure uh which is a bit less more a bit less invasive blah blah and she explained to me this uh, sweep and stretch however you know uh, to some women it doesn't work it's not possible to 
apply that or to you know do it because the cervix is closed and um this and that and i was asking questions a lot of questions because i was already informed so um i asked you know about the benefits risks and you know this word which is brian which is ask about benefits of the procedure risks associated with it um instinct what, what does my instinct tells me um aids or like uh or like other aids or how do you call it are there any other options kind of uh and if what if we do nothing what happens anyway so yeah so i've asked all these questions to her and she was lovely and she explained to me and um she said that you know obviously this sweep and stretch is really not necessarily um associated with any specific risks because it's kind of like non-invasive it's not like a medical procedure um and one argument is that you know whoever gets a sweep or stretch or two whatever two three then um there is a likelihood that they might not need a medicated induction uh, provided that does does work um so anyway so she asked me if i wanted to do it today or i could have done it in the weekend at the you know right next to my house i could do it at the clinic and stuff and i um you know i said to her how long does it take does it hurt blah 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 i said it doesn't hurt but you know like some women find it uncomfortable they get some cramping they get up some blood, you know spotting like blood spotting and stuff and uh yeah uh, I knew all this to be honest, but I still asked the questions because I wanted to hear it straight from her mouth. And so um, she said, so, you know, what, uh, what would you like to do? Because obviously it's your call. You can say yes or you can say no and blah, blah. And I said, well, to be honest, I'm kind of tired of waiting. I mean, like I want to try it sooner than later because next week I'm going to be 40 weeks, 41 weeks plus one when i see her and i said i want to have at least two of these uh procedures before i see you again next time and stuff because i ideally i wouldn't want to get to induction but if there's no other way then i probably will have to accept it so um i accepted to do it today and she did have a she gave me a, a vaginal kind of exam um and you know she basically uh said that i coped with the whole procedure very well she told me how to relax and this and that and i had no problems anyway um and uh, yeah so the result was that uh my cervix is closed she said cervix at least i was rereading my notes right now because uh, at the moment i was a little bit disappointed about the progress that i didn't hear everything she was saying and i couldn't understand um so my cervix is still posterior um so it hasn't really moved because it needs to be kind of anterior um and uh the cervix is closed she said in there but it allows only it admits only a fingertip so it's closed but i think i guess there is some likelihood that is very very little 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 open anyway and after googling it says that um it could be like one centimeter but it doesn't sound like anyway um and she then offered me another one uh, she said if nothing happens she sort of basically gave my cervix a little nudge um but you know nothing really happened since and so uh, she said if i want to give her a call on monday or tuesday we can have another uh, stretch um before and check what's happening if there's been any progress before i see her on thursday and so yeah that's what where we left it in the meantime she said to me try not to stress and stuff and i'm like i'm not i just want to you know try a few things if i can and if they're allowed they're um allowed and um i said she said just go relax um you know eat a nice meal go spend some time with your friends da, 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 this and that and then you know your body will will the your baby will come when he's ready and your body will do it when he's prepared so i just said yeah that's absolutely understandable and that was it really i came home and i had a really nice breakfast uh treated myself then i had when the carbs kicked in i had a uh, a nap because my lovely next door neighbor is like having construction done and earlier literally when i came from 
the midwife that was drilling that it looked like it felt like it's right right in my room and it was horrendous so when they stopped i thought thank you jesus and i just went straight to bed um so i just got up now Ooh. excuse me i'm so tired um yeah i have some grapes um sitting with my bow and there you go i can show you my bump although i'm sure i'm gonna make a few more videos before this bump goes away but that's my bump and it's really low so yeah baby's probably around she said he's, he's really low he's around here so it's like one hour one hand and a half kind of i can fit um so yeah he's very low he's in a perfect position she said for birth and um it's good that i'm just keeping him there like this um now we just kind of have to wait so yeah i will wait um in the meantime that's about it i'm just gonna try to keep my head up i'm gonna try to enjoy um you know what i can a nice meal a nice bath maybe later i'm gonna go and get my manicure done my friend uh it will said she will do my manicure with like this gel thing um and maybe tomorrow i'll go to london with one of my friends because it's her birthday and yeah i'm just gonna chill relax and just wait really if you can't speed things up and you can't control at least just list i'm gonna try to keep my sanity and not you know like try like crazy and i've honestly i've i'm like i've been eating dates i've been having this and that primrose oil but now I feel like a little bit fed up. Nothing kind of worked. So, I mean, I will keep eating it because I like dates with my cereal. But, um, you know, I'm just not going to go over the moon and like over the top to try to speed things up because I can't. I just don't want to get like a cesarean, a C-section or things like that if cervix doesn't dilate. And uh, if cervix really doesn't soften or there's no progress, you know, and induction might not work and I so anyway I don't want to think that far but I pray that there will be some progress by next week um and once I get another sweep and stretch I hope at the next appointment that my cervix will be at least a little bit more open um but yeah that's about it guys thank you for watching me and for listening to me rambling and everything also I've been putting some weight on I'm 50 75 kilos wow I've never been that heavy but I knew I put weight on because I've been eating. And um, today I didn't go to the gym because I feel so exhausted. So I think I'm just going to... Excuse me. Leave it for now. I'm going to leave that for now. And... Oh, uh, wow. I'm just going to relax and rest my body because I am knackered. Although I'm not doing anything. Yeah, that's about it. Anyway. So, thank you. Uh, the weather is lovely outside it's really it's like raining but it's humid and it's not cold um, but it's a perfect day to stay in the house again another day to stay in the house so yeah let's just see what happens I'll keep you guys posted um, in the meantime if any of you mamas out there are watching me or anything like that and you want to give me a shout of things that you might be doing and working apart from the ones that I've already mentioned I'm doing uh, and the sex part because I am single and I don't have a partner and uh, it's definitely no no uh, chance for me to do sex or whatever um, and um, you know other other practical things let's say <laughs> and that doesn't involve you know eating things that th make me throw up and stuff <laughs> anyways have a lovely rest of the week and uh, a weekend and i will talk to you soon stay positive bye